Lincho joined us today because he has some marketing questions and uh, we're going to listen to him and give him some advice. Hey, Lincho, can you, let me see, let me make sure he gets off on mute. Uh, all right. So Lincho, go ahead and unmute yourself and let us know what's Bye. going on. Uh, good morning, y'all. Uh, well, I'm sitting concrete, uh, and it's something that you know, pretty much everything that's around us has concrete in it. Yeah. So it, it's something that's every like pretty much old buildings need to be, uh, you know, uh, remod not remodeled. I don't. Know, I'm I'm still working with uh, words. I don't know how to, uh, you know, uh, whenever you have to fix something that's old, it's cracked, it's broken. You have to mm -hmm. fix it again. But mm -hmm. I want to, I want to know how to target, like, uh, pretty much is we're servicing homeowners and uh, we're trying to help people, you know, fix their house, fix their homes so they can look nice without trying to break their budget. So that's like me trying to help people. I'm also mm -hmm. trying to make money, you know, so I'm also trying to, I'm, I'm also trying to, uh, provide services for contractors. And I think we talked about it last time, uh, about making like, a. Like uh, where I can where I can provide employees, but there'll be like some like I don't know if I can merge that into, um, uh, in like you know into my we, we do concrete, um, this like uh you know half I mean I'm not gonna say half because I don't know the numbers specifically, but a bunch of the concrete uh construction employees are undocumented, you know they're illegal, and. So I'm trying. So I'm trying to market. How could I provide like that service? Uh, but that would be like a side thing. Also, concrete. How can I? How can I market to, like to homeowners and business owners at the same time? Or would I have to do two different things? Awesome, awesome question. So, um, I'm going to put myself on mute because I want to give the team any up uh, uh an opportunity to ask any questions they have or give any suggestions they have so you guys don't be shy um Lincho, he really has a a great vision and a passionate heart to help um the people around him and um also serving a great need because he's right you know people need to be able to fix their concrete without breaking the bank sometimes right I have a patio and my patio there's a big crack running through it you know I don't want to break the bank to fix that I just want it to get fixed so if that if you can combine that with helping people who need jobs that's a great thing so any questions or suggestions for Lencho hey Lencho so I'll, I love your idea I think it's great. And I think the target marketing you need right now is like homeowners. And a lot of times nowadays, like marketing is done through social media and like through the internet. But I think what for your target, you should do like just advertising like on people's lawns. Like you could- Flyers. Yeah, like flyers. And like yeah. just like things on the side of the street where like, in big neighborhoods where like people are really close and they can spread the words to each other. Yeah, but uh, I forgot what that's called. Uh, word of mouth marketing. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay. So, but like I know like uh, colors. Like uh, I got to think with colors. I know colors are are what you call it, but um, like uh, ooh, what was the thing? Yes, like, what can I put in the background, like, to get people's, because, I mean, your flyer or your thing has to get people's attention. Like, I'm I'm not that experienced into marketing, but I know people's attention will get us paid. Yeah, I think, like, definitely, like, maybe some bright colors, but, like, also colors that aren't too bright where people drive by and can't, it just flashes at them. You know? They can't see what's on the actual flyer, like, the wording. Okay. So, like, something bright enough, the background should be bright enough to, you know, appeal to the person looking at it, but the words should also be bold enough so that they can read what's on it. 
All right. Awesome. Um, I think um, with along with flyers, Lincho, yeah, you can have somebody with a truck. You can drive around to neighborhoods, have like, you know, some young kids go jump out, walk the neighborhoods, put them on the doorknob with a rubber band. I've seen some people do that. And then you can make other flyers too to go to the areas that there are a lot of workers at and hand those out to them about how to contact you to get on the list of uh, contractors or workers for whenever you have jobs. And that way you can start building a list of people you can reach out to when you have these small jobs um, and start creating like a database for it. Yes, this this beautiful because that's kind of what I already do, but you know because I have my memory and my mental challenges, and I try to put them as workers, finishers, and depending on their kind of speakers, they're different. You know, everybody does different thing. So I already kind of have that on on my accounts. You know, so it's I need man, you're right. Make a database so easy. Um, to be able to pull that information out. What do you think about working with high school students that, you know, they can make a little money by creating the flyers for you and helping you distribute? You can have a couple create them and then have a couple that will go out like on the weekends and hit target areas. Remember Miss Miss Carla and Miss Camila, uh, my business partner's daughters? Like yeah. that's kind of what that's kind of what I'm bringing them in, because it's like I'm trying to I'm trying to teach him, like you know how minimum wage is seven seven fifty, man they're worth more than seven fifty dollars, you know and they start them up at eight fifty or whatever I'm trying to get them to learn to value themselves at least ten twelve dollars you know above what the market is offering, so and they they have skills too they have technology and these things so I'm I'm bam it's beautiful it's like all of these things just falling in. Indirectly, that's where uh, I'm working with them to get that one, getting them technology. Uh, like uh, I got one of them from, you know, it's a slow process. I get the other one so they can work together. Cause I mean, they're sisters and they're always working together. So it's, but um, like my, the thing that I would kind of run into a thing is they need supervision. Cause I mean, you know, they're still young, they're still young ladies that are 13, you know, yeah. so. I mean, I I probably would have the girls working on creating the flyers and have the young males mm -hmm. actually distributing them. Anybody Ooh, else have some yeah. ideas or suggestions? Uh, hi, Lynn Show. I'm Reagan. I have an idea regarding um, hitting the target market of maybe like some suburban moms and also with like word of mouth marketing. Um, yes. There's different apps that like ne the next door neighbor app where that you could implement and like write, maybe you could get someone to write a review about you on there because hey. they're always, they're always on that. And if there's different Facebook groups too, um, even with different, like, I mean, I'm in Fort Worth, but there's like a Tanglewood Moms, like Facebook um, hey. channel and they all talk to each other on there. And even if you could like, you know, get in on there, technically I, it's a little difficult to market because uh, they try and keep it away, but if you could even get um, get one person to write a review and like sp and post about it in those different groups, um, uh, I think it would spread more. I mean, like on on that, that's why I'm kind of I'm not gonna say I'm lowballing. So I'm kind of doing kind of what the prices people were other my competitors are doing, but. Sometimes I think that I should lowball so I can get a like a, a base customer a base customer base that can provide reviews. I mean, th I mean th everything's legit. I like I can't keep up like I can't keep up a front. Like I forget everything. So this is as good as it gets, you know. So it's uh, so that that's transparency because I learned that I, I can't even tell you who I learned that from. People appreciate transparency. Mm -hmm. People appreciate you showing them what it is that you're doing, and they don't mind paying. They know everything costs. Um, can, can you mention can you can you mention that again? Uh, so I can write it down. What, what was the? Because I I do need to start making accounts. Like I have a uh, my Facebook page, 
um, and it's like an Instagram page and pretty much a Twitter page as well. So I can be reached anywhere and that have an audience. And oh, on that, on that behalf, the other, the other thing that is like Facebook advertising and those things are worth the money that I'm that I would be spending on them. Um, yes. Well, first is the next door neighbor app, the next door app. Next That's door what Reagan was talking about. And that is a great idea, Reagan. I didn't even think of that. Um, a good way to put the word out about what you're doing. Um, but yes, I would say the Facebook apps, uh, ads are good. If you have even a hundred dollars to spend on Facebook ads is worth it. Hey, the, issue, the issue is making the ad really good. That's the issue. Use a video instead of a picture. Make it short, sweet. Make sure the, the call to action is very clear. Make sure that you have the link. Or well, the instruction on what you want them to do is very clear. And the link that you're sending them to can capture information. So you're sending them to a link, maybe like a, a landing page about what you do and you know you you have them fill out a form on that page right that way you're getting some information and that way you can see how well that ad is is doing but um yes we can also help you with that whenever you are ready to make that facebook ad too because uh like uh, you know i snap like on snapchat you got like a 10 i think it's a 10 second window so I, I try to I try to make my advertising work to just 10, 10 seconds, you know, uh, like you say, quick and fast. And I don't know about the sweet part, but it's it's on, you know, it's true. Like I'm on the field, people can see that, you know. Yeah. And, and it's like, like I said, I, I, like I love being transparent because I forget stuff. So I, I want to be I want people to be able to catch me when I forget, you know. So um, for the next door neighbor app, um, any other ideas on any other things that I can make an account? Uh, because I mean, all of this is kind of back in, back back door work for me that I have to put in. But mm -hmm. it, like now, I have like now I have enough pictures. Uh, I'm working on getting my LLC. Um, yeah. I should be, I should be getting that. Uh, I should be making a payment to get that rolling today. Um, great, great you know, job. Yes, ma'am. It's like 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 things I've been on, and I just forget, you know. So it's like, and it's like. By magic, y'all just show up again. Like you show up like indirectly by Dr. T. And I had already met you, but I forgot. You know, so it's like it's I don't know, this is like some other level, you know, mm -hmm. so it's like I mean it's it's amazing. So the only thing we can do is run it. Mm -hmm. So so okay. Go ahead. So so uh every, everybody, is there any more ideas? Um, any other platforms? Lencho is asking. Are there any other platforms or any other ideas you guys have? All right, so I think that's what they have for right now, Lincho. So, um, you know, like we were saying, like we were saying, letting the, the girls help with the design of the flyers, making two separate yeah. flyers, one for the workers, one for the cust potential customers, and then setting up that next door app um, um, profile and listing your business on it. Because, and then when you go on next door, you can actually search and you'll, you'll be able to find people asking for help with, um, with that type of stuff. Because whenever people want reviews or referrals for different workers like that, they'll they'll send it in the Nextdoor app in their neighborhood. And, um, and then the people start giving them recommendations. So that's one thing. All right, so it was really good talking to you again. And I'm really proud of you for getting your LLC started. Um, and feel free to join us again. We, we will have an advice meeting every first Monday of the month. And that way we can keep checking on you and, and seeing how you're doing and, and all of that. But re reach out to us whenever you're ready to make that Facebook ad so we can help if we can.
Boom. Awesome. And also, uh, like I think last time I used, uh, you mentioned somebody that, that was already doing a construction, a mentor. Uh, I, I forgot your name. Uh, I said I had somebody else that was doing construction. Um, I have to think because my I just went blank on that because I don't know if I have a, a construction friend. I probably did say something about connecting you with somebody, but I, I forget what it is now. But if it comes to me, I'll, I'll reach out to you. Of course, or if I remember, okay. I had such a cheese. You got like gorgeous memory. <laughs> like you mm-hmm. can't remember stuff. It's like, wow. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I reached out to him. Oh, one communication with your customers. Well, I mean, mm-hmm. when, when you haven't served them, I don't know what they're called because they're not customers anymore. They're, I don't know what this is called. People you you worked with in the past or? Um, yeah, like somebody that I went and did a job for, like I did a job with for them. Like, oh, uh, like, yeah, you like know, follow up customers. Like, yeah, yeah, you should follow up with those people and email them or call them and ask them to put up a review for you. It doesn't have to be long and it doesn't have to be perfect, but if they could just give you a few stars and say, you know, very professional or something like that, even those little things help. Hey, that's where my customer service comes in because I talk to the customers and that's what I need to follow up and say, hey, uh, you think you can write me a review? Um, what would be the best place to get reviews? It would be like- on Google. It would be on Google and Yahoo and Facebook because those are the three that people check the most for reviews. Okay. Um, yeah, because, uh, I already made a page with uh, with you know my uh, with my account. Yeah. Um, I would I would say Yelp, except for stuff, you have to have an account with Yelp. So a lot of people don't set up a Yelp just to make an you know a complaint, but mm-hmm. but yeah. You can also go to the Better Business Bureau and create an account there online. Yeah. Um, do that Bureau. just because even if even if you don't have a paid subscription with the Better Business Bureau, just the fact that you have a Better Business Bureau account shows that you're trying to be um, an upstanding business, and people will see that when they type in the, the name of your company. So that is all we have today. And uh, as always, I'm going to send this recording out to you guys. Thank you so much for uh, the talk. And uh, I will get back to everyone later about individual projects. But you guys have a wonderful day and we'll have a wonderful week. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Thank you so much. Bye.